Hey everybody, this is Chris with Northline Navigation and we're going to do a little demonstration on how to use the Usen Ligo app with your paper map to do Scoro. Let's check it out. We're here in my neighborhood and I have a little course designed around my block. So we're going to uh, do this together and maybe even do a little bit of navigation practice. So right now I am walking up to this triangle in the double circle which indicates the start and finish. And as you can see, this is the bend in the road, and this is where we're going to start. So the Usen Ligo app, which is not going to be very easy to see on the screen, sounds like this, and I'll add another demonstration video of just screenshots. Uh, but let's do the first thing, which is to orient the map. Here's my compass, and it shows that north is behind me. So I'm going to rotate the map like this. Now the map is oriented, and I can see that the road goes out in front of me, and it goes off to my right and that's how that works so we're going to hit start and you're going to hear the music for the start and since we're standing in the start it's going to begin the activity and start uh, tracking our progress hear that all right so now it says that we've begun and we are going to start moving towards the first control which is going to be at this intersection by a lake. So I'm going to motor in that direction. And when we get to within 35 meters of it, the phone should beep. So we'll see how long it takes us to get there. So as you can see, we're coming up on this intersection here. And the app should know that we arrive. That's it. And that is how Usen Ligo works. We are right at this intersection where the circle is for number five. And sure enough, there's the lake over there. So where should we go next? How about, let's go to number one on the other side of the lake. So there's the bridge and Usen Ligo should see when we get there. Now remember, I'm holding the phone out just so that we can have maximum volume for this video, but you'll hear it in your pack. Now you'll notice that we are almost to the bridge in the corner of the lake, and the reason it rang is because our punching radius, our control radius, is set to 35 meters. That's a long ways, that's 90 feet or so. So if the GPS on your phone is just a little bit off, you can still get close enough to these landmarks where it's gonna know that you're close enough, which is why we have that control radius set to a maximum value. So now, where are we gonna go next? So right now we are at number one. Let's go get number three. Number three is gonna be around the other side of the lake and up into another bridge. Now incidentally, I know what these symbols are because it says here in this clue sheet that number three is going to be a bridge, which is what I'm looking for. So that is how you use the clue sheet, which is this little section here on your map. It'll give you the control number and what the feature is that you're going to. So let's go to number three, which is a bridge. Okay, so where are we? The lake is behind me, so I'm going to turn the map this way. Uh, magnetic north is over there, so I turn the map to magnetic north. I see I'm at an intersection and there's a road right here. There's a little open space. There's that intersection we just were at. So now I'm going to go down this road a little bit, which is mostly north, which is that way, until I see the creek and the bridge. In Usen Ligo should beep again. And since it's very important to see the expression on one's face when the phone rings and tells you that you've made it, it comes with a uh, special little dance and a special extra big smile.
Do you see what I mean? Stupid dance. But there's the bridge. And now we decide. So now, when I make a left, I rotate the map so that I'm still going forward on the map. So, so we're coming up to this corner here and we're expecting the, uh, the app to make the tones when we get to this corner. Oh yeah. All right, so now that we've got all of the points on the map, now we have to go back to the double circle, which is the finish. So, since we're here, magnetic north is that way. If we're supposed to make a right, we make a right, and then we turn the map so that our direction of travel is oriented to magnetic north, which is the top of the page this way. And that's how you navigate with a map and a compass. Now, when we get to the finish, the app is going to play a different set of tones. It's the finale music. And that is when your activity will be complete. So we're almost to this corner now. Any second now. Any second now. It's almost ready for this corny finale music. I'll stand still for a second. Ha ha ha! And that is how Usain Liga works. Now that we're finished, you can hit the button that says share route tracking, and then it emails a GPX file to you and to me so that we can figure out where everybody went, where everybody thought they went, and where they actually were. So I hope this was helpful. I look forward to you guys uh, experiencing Usain Ligo uh, map and compass navigation uh, with Northline navigation. Thanks.